Hello, 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 hello. Good evening, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Okay, can you hear me? Yes, right. So, good evening. Hello, 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 hello. Thank goodness. Okay, uh, today is uh, Tuesday, right? So Yolanda, thank you for being on time. So you were here very, very, very early, nice. Um, let's start, okay? What, what's today date, uh, Yolanda? What's today date? Uh, today date is uh, Tuesday, September 14th, twenty. Uh, 20- 21. Okay, okay, perfect, <laughs> nice. Okay, perfect, thank you. Um, nice, so let's see. Um, Noemi, how are you, Noemi? Now you are better than yesterday? Uh, hello, teacher, yes, I'm better than yesterday. Okay, nice, perfect. I remember, I remember that you tell, told us that you were a little bit sick, right? because yeah. of your headache, okay? But now I see you look different, okay? Nice, mm -hmm. perfect. Florence, hello, how are you, Florence? Hi, teacher. I'm very well, but my internet doesn't work very well. Uh, really? And if I can hear me, tell me. <laughs> yeah, right now we can hear you, okay? No problem. I see that everything is it's okay, but Okay. No problem, okay? Thank you for the update. In case if we have any problems, so I guess we will be able to understand, okay? No problem. Um, okay. Well, let me, let me see right here. Uh, welcome, Chrisia. Hello, how are you, Chris? Hi, good evening. Hello, good evening. How are you? I'm good. Thank you. Okay, so what do you do, Chris? Yeah? What is your occupation or what do you do in your job? Um operadora. I don't okay. know. You are like an operator, but what is the what is the business? What okay. is exactly the is manufacturer? Ah, okay, manufacturer. Uh -huh. Okay, okay, perfect. Yes. Nice. Nice. Uh, thank you. Let's see how many are we right now in the meeting. Let's see. We are just eight. Well, actually, we are seven because I don't know why this background, no sé, no meeting. Como se ve. The background, I don't know why. It's because of the color, probably. It's not as it's not as a match on the background. Yeah. Well, so uh, anyways, so we have to do it. So today it's the class, and I told you yesterday we had class tomorrow, but no, tomorrow it's a holiday. Okay, I forgot. <laughs> And now when nadie me decía nada, right? So yo confundida que vamos a tener class. Okay, but no, right? So that, that we don't have class because it is a holiday. Okay, so it is a holiday. Nice. Um, well, welcome, Alexander. How are you, Alexander? Good evening, teacher. I'm fine. Thank you. Okay, perfect. Thank uh, you. Yeah. A little busy at my work, but I find. But you don't have to work tomorrow, or yes, you will. You will have to no. work. <laughs> ah, okay. I so will yeah. Stay at home. Perfect. Tomorrow it's a holiday, right? So it's a holiday, Independence Day. So I guess that we are <laughs> going to be resting, right? Hopefully. hopefully. No, no. Not it's really. The date of the March, Independence March. For the coffee. For the coffee lovers. Um, oh yeah, for the coffee lovers. So Yolanda, <laughs> you will be in the March. Yes. Okay. Well, yeah, it's okay. It's okay. So in we my need case, to to get to fight with for with uh, dignity. 
<laughs> yeah, that's true. That's true. I agree about that. Okay, I agree. In my case, I have to work. So I will be working like a normal day. Just, I guess I will work probably one or two hours less. But then it will be like a normal, 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 normal uh, date working. In, but it's okay. It's okay. I already changed the schedule to work a little bit early and that way I can finish a little bit early as well. And then I can rest a little bit. And but obviously you live in El Salvador, teacher. Yeah, yeah, of course. Oh, okay. Yes, I live in Quesaltepeque. I don't know if you know Quesaltepeque La Libertad. So that's where I live. It's not really so it's not so far from San Salvador, but it's not really close. It's like one hour. Okay. But yeah, yep, 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 yep. That's nice. Uh, thank you, Rafael. Welcome, Rafael. How are you today, Rafa? Hello, thank you. I'm fine. And you? Okay, I'm amazing. I'm excited because tomorrow we have vacation, okay? So tomorrow <laughs> we don't have class. So what yeah. about you, Rafael? In your business, you're going to be no, working I, tomorrow? I have no? to work, yes. I have to okay. work. Okay, welcome to the poor site, we, okay? <laughs> we work 20, 24 hours, seven days. Oh my goodness, I can imagine, I can imagine. Yeah, that's the way it is, okay? So because of the business that you are in the, the, right. the, the, the area, right, where you work, so it's even tomorrow, it's probably more activities than previous other days, right? Because yeah, the holiday, right? A lot of people is, you know, at home for delivering and everything. Okay, mm -hmm. right. yeah, I can imagine. Nice. Okay. So then the rest, I see Noemi, I see Ada, Vane, but I don't see the cameras. I don't know why you are so shy. Um, I would like to know you and talk with you, but I don't see you. I don't know if you have any problem with the camera. Noemi, Yesenia. Uh, Vanessa. Vanessa de Los Angeles. No, are you here? No. Yes, teacher. Sorry. Uh -huh. Good evening. Good evening, Vane. Why you don't have your camera? Please turn on your camera. No importa que estemos ahí algo mechudo. No importa. Okay, so. The thing is that we need to know each other, okay? Imagine. Because uh, I will. <laughs> no. <laughs> I, I, I. Your audio sounds a little bit robotic, okay? So I don't know why. But, uh, well. Yes. Um. Sorry, um, I, you have issues with your I internet? am, I walking. Ah, okay, you are walking. House. Ah, okay, okay. So, well, thank you, Noemi. <laughs> and what about, it says Jennifer, Jennifer uh, Martinez, welcome. You are just joining the meeting. And what happened with the rest? I don't know what happened with the rest. Pensaron que la vacación era desde hoy, right? So we have just 10 participants, okay? I guess Patricia, Marina, they are joining the meeting right now. Thank you for joining. Uh, let's see, it says right here, Patricia, Marina, thank you, okay? Please turn on your cameras. Please remember that the class is with camera on. Okay, so ahí viene Elvis, getting in. Elvis, welcome. Thank you. Thank you for the camera, Elvis. Okay, yes. nice. Thank you, thank so uh, tomorrow we don't have class. Okay, forget it that I told you that we have class. Okay, I was confused. Okay, so I was lost in the time. I didn't remember that was a holiday. So tomorrow it's off. Okay, we don't have class. So we will see you. To, we will get the class on... Thursday, right? Then we have Friday, we don't have class, so we are going to finish next Monday, 
Okay, next Monday is the last day. So on that day, what we are going to do is basically review the final quiz, the final exam. Okay, uh, thank you for the camera now, Marina. Thank you, now I can see you. So Vanessa, as soon as you get home, please turn on your camera, okay? So Jennifer Martinez. Okay, thank you, Jennifer Martinez. Hello, Jennifer. Hello. How are you, Jennifer? I don't see your camera. Aún no llego a mi casa, mi ya casi llego, ya casi me conecto. Ah, okay, okay. So let us know, please. I want to know you. Imagine que in the future we get in contact, we see it in the in the I don't know on the street. So how I will be able to uh, know that it's you if I don't know you, okay? So ustedes se van a decir, ve ahí va la teacher, pero como ustedes nunca me pusieron la cámara, yo cómo voy a saber? No los conozco. Okay, now if I see your pictures right here, your camera, so ah, this is Yolanda. I remember Yolanda, Crisia, yeah, I remember Crisia. So that's why it is important, okay? And also remember that is one of the requirements from INSAFO, right? To have cameras on, participate in the class. So sometimes when you don't see, if I don't see the camera, so I am like, I don't know if I'm able to ask the question. I don't know if the person is there listening in the class or no, okay? So that's why the, the camera is very important. So let's start today is the class number 14. Remember that we are right here in the, um, learning and uh, studying the present perfect. Did you remember the present perfect, right? So have you ever write a camel? That is the name of the lesson or the section number five. So what else we have right here? Let's see this uh, lesson or model objective. Uh, let's see, uh, Alexander, go ahead, please help us with the reading right here. Okay. In this session, we will study the present perfect with already and yet. Ask and answer question using the present perfect with regular and irregular past participles. Okay, perfect, thank you. Yes, in this section, so in this unit, we are going to study the present perfect with the expression already and yet. And we are going to ask and answer questions using the present perfect with regular and irregular past participles, okay? I don't know if you studied the birds. Do you have the chance or the opportunity to study the birds, the list? Okay, I hope so, okay? Ya le vamos a preguntar un par de verbos, a ver si los hemos estudiado, okay? So let's see, we have the uh, already and yet. Okay, so these ones are two common expressions that we use in English, okay? Already and yet, okay? Present perfect with already and yet. Let's see what it says right here already. Uh, let's see, Rafael, help us with the reading right here already, please. Already means that something happened earlier than we expected with present perfect tense already usually goes after have or has and before the main verb. Example sentences. I've already seen that film. I don't want to see it, see it again. Arriving at the bus station, I found the bus. Had already left. Have you already taken the money? He has already done the shopping. He is watching TV now. Mark has already here, but John hasn't, hasn't come yet. Perfect, thank you, Rafa. Yes, okay, this is an expression that it's really common to use it with the present perfect. Remember that we mentioned yesterday that the present perfect is a tense that we use to mention something that is started in the past, but still we have it in the present. Okay, so that is the usage, right, for the present perfect. So this is expression that says already means that something happened, okay, earlier than we expect, okay. Uh, probably you say, oh my goodness, I already forgot my homework. 
Okay, so that is the expression already, okay? And in the present perfect, it says that it will be after have or has normally, right? Usually, it's not like an always, but usually most of the time it will be after the uh, auxiliary in this case, have or has depending on the, depending on the subject or before the main verb. Okay, look at right here, I have ready, okay? And let's see, in this one, Mark has ready, okay? So it's very simple to identify this expression, okay? So if we translate the already, if you look for the meaning, it's come on. Um, I have already seen that field. In if we translate this, it's como yo ya había visto, okay? Yo, así decimos en español, right? Yo ya había visto esa película o esa eh, serie, right? I don't want to see it again. No la quiero volver a ver. Okay. I have already seen. Es como yo ya había visto. Yo ya eh, he visto esta película, esta, esta movie, okay? Este film. Okay. I have already. So that is the expression. It's really common with the uh, similar to jet, but it's not the same. It's a little bit different, okay, because of the position, okay? So let's see the one that says jet right here. Uh, Caesar, welcome to the class. Caesar, can you please help us with the reading with this one, jet? Jet uh, yes. means that sometimes that we speak fading as happening or hasn't no happening we usually put in up the end of a sentence uh, example and sentences michael has bought a new dress but she has sent work it yet he has not watered the flowers yet it has not been the style yet. We haven't not been able to solve the problem yet. She won't have sent the email yet. Thank you. Nice. Uh, Caesar, now we have jet. Okay. Jet means something that we expect that happen or hasn't happened. Okay. So that means that we don't know. With the already means that yes, that action already happened, okay? But with the yet, it's like, a, mm, I'm not sure, okay? Probably yes, probably not, okay? So that is the difference, okay? And it says right here that is usually put in at the end, okay? So that's how you are going to identify the yet, right? Because normally it goes at the end of the sentence, okay? And in this one, it's as I told you, it's something that we don't know if that's if that activity already happened or probably yes or probably not. Okay, look at the example. It says uh, Michael has bought a new dress, but she hasn't worn it yet. Okay, so if we translate that expression, that would be uh, Michael ha comprado un nuevo vestido, pero aún no lo ha usado, ok, ese jet es como aún, más o menos ahí, verdad, dependiendo del contexto, uh, he hasn't watered the flowers yet, ok, él no ha regado, decimos nosotros en español, pero no ha regado las plantas aún, o decimos nosotros en español a los salvadoreños, todavía, así decimos, ¿verdad? él todavía no se ha levantado, Ok, he haven't get up yet. Todavía, dice usted. No, es que todavía no se ha hecho. It has, hasn't been decided yet. Aún no se ha decidido, dice uno. No se decide todavía o aún. Ok. We haven't been able to solve the problem yet. Ok. No hemos podido encontrar la solución al problema aún o todavía. Nosotros la verdad decimos todavía. Todavía no he salido, dice usted. Me estoy alistando todavía, dice usted. Okay. So that will be the jet. 
Okay, she won't have sent the email yet. Okay, ella no ha enviado el correo aún o todavía. Okay, so as I told you, the yet, it's almost all the time at the end of the sentence. And uh, it's to tell us an expression that probably it happened or probably not. It's something unexpected. The opposite with already, but this one is something that it's already done. Okay, more than what we expect. Okay, so Teacher, yep. Uh, I have a question uh, in the last sentence uh, in the second part. Uh, she won't have sent the email yet. Uh, instead of that sen sen this sentence, I can write she hasn't sent. She hasn't sent the email yet. Yeah, both are correct. If, if you put it like that, she hasn't uh, sent the email yet, it's correct. So in this case, the expression is like in future, right? Ella uh -huh. no ha okay. enviado aún el correo, o todavía, como nosotros decimos en español, right? Ella todavía no ha enviado el correo, okay? So that's why it says like a future right here, okay? So we don't okay, know if she you. will send it later or not. So it's unexpected, right? It's something that we don't know, okay? But if it is something that it will happen. But yeah, it's okay, Alex. Nice. Okay. Questions about this already and yet. We will do some exercise to see if we get the idea, okay? So remember, keep in mind that you uh, yet it's always, most of the time is usually at the end. And they already will be like after the have or has or before the main verb, okay? So look, the main verb is this one. So already it's right here, okay? Before. Um, let's see, what else do we have right here? Look, it says, um, I have lived here for five years, okay? Look, it says, Complete the sentences using the correct form of the birds. Okay, so um, can someone take a picture of this and send it into the WhatsApp group? Because I'm going to create the I'm going to create the uh, the rooms. Okay, and that way we can work together. We have four minutes to complete this sentence, okay? So what we are going to do is complete the sentence using the correct form of the verb. So have, has, plus the past participle, okay? Look at the verbs that are the ones that you have in parentheses. So that's, those are the verbs that you are going to use with the past participle, okay? Uh, nice. Are we clear about what we are going to do? Thank you for the uh, picture is there. So we have the picture there. So let me create the rooms. And uh, please try to do this exercise in, as a thing. And we will do it in four minutes, okay? We have four minutes only, okay? With, we, without already and yet. Yeah, this is just past participle, okay? okay. This is just past participle, okay? So we are going to create three rooms only, okay? Three rooms. Yeah, it's okay. So let me create it right now and you have four minutes only, okay? So let's do it together and really quick.
Hello, hello, hello. Okay, nice. Hello. So, welcome back, welcome back. So I guess that you were able to complete the sentences, okay? So we are going to validate. Let me, let me see right here. Okay, so let's see that together right here. Um, let's see Florence, number one. I have studied English for 10 years. Okay, perfect. So the past participle of the verb study, it is? Studied. Okay, perfect, okay, studied, it right? Why to I? Uh-huh. E is the E D. E D at the end. Perfect. Okay. Yes. So remember that you need to put the verse in past participle, right? So I yes. have I have studied English for 10 years. Okay. Perfect. Rosario del Carmen. Welcome, Rosario, to the class. Okay, number two, Rosario, number two, please. Rosario, I guess you are on mute. Mm, well, I don't know what happened with Rosario. It was like on freeze the camera. Okay, uh, let's see um, Vanessa, Vanessa de Los Angeles. Thank you, please. Number two. Yeah. Uh, okay, um, we haven't worked here for very long. Okay, we haven't, right? This one is negative, right? It is negative, yes. so haven't worked, okay? So the word tends to be in past participle, okay? So yes. in, in Spanish, nosotros no mm. hemos trabajado, right? So nosotros no hemos trabajado aquí por mucho, okay? So that would be yes. the, 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 the expression right here. Uh, Luis Alonso, welcome Luis Alonso, number three, please. Luis Alonso. So, uh, the, those kids, those kids have played piano sings, they were babies. Babies. Okay, perfect. Thank you, Luis. Yeah, those kids have played, that would be the past participle, yeah. right? Played piano since they have were playing. babies. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Seems they were babies, okay? Seems they were babies. Nice. Uh, let's see Elvis, the next one, number four. I, number four. I have met many new students here. Perfect, I have met many new students here. Okay, perfect. The next one will be for uh, Yolanda. Go ahead, Yolanda, number five. We haven't seen you for a long time. Perfect, okay. We haven't... Uh, so you for a long time, okay? If we translate it, so no te hemos visto, right? Desde hace mucho tiempo, okay? So we haven't, we haven't in negative. Um, Milagro, welcome Milagro. Nice to see you, Milagro. Nice, uh, Milagro number six. You are on mute, Milagro. There you go. The tribe has lived here for the centuries. Hmm. Okay. So what is the tribe? What is the tribe? Tribe. Okay. It's, it's one, right? It's just one. Okay. The tribe. Have or has? 
have. Mm -hmm. But have is for plural, okay? Have is for plural. So in this in this case, it's just one, okay? If we have a nest right here, that will be uh, plural, right? The tribes, las tribus, okay? But in this in this case, it's just one. The tribe has lived mm -hmm. here for centuries, okay? Four centuries. So this one will be third person, third person, okay? Nice. Um, Karina, Karina Lisset, number seven, please. Number seven, I have known about that for quite a while. Okay, okay, thank you. I have, uh, mm -hmm. what is the past participle for this bird? No. None. None. About that for quite a while. Quite what a is while. what is this expression for quite a while? While a while. Do you know this expression? Um. Quiet. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And in Spanish, we say mientras tanto, right? So mientras tanto, algo así decimos en español. Mm -hmm. Yo no, es, no he sabido, no he sabido. De, esto de esto por cierto, por tiempo, cierto tiempo. Por cierto tiempo, right? So for quite a while. So this is an expression that you can use cuando usted quiere decir algo que pues ha sido bastante tiempo, pero no se sabe cuánto, right? It's like uncountable. Okay, nice. Uh, let's see, Noemi, Yesenia, the next one, please, number eight. He has seen all of Jackie Chan's movies. Okay, perfect. He has seen all the Jackie Chan's movie. <laughs> okay, nice. The next one, that will be for, um, let's see, Christian. Christian, number nine. She has had bad habits all her life. Perfect. She has oh, had, life. right? The past participle for had, that will be had, right? H-A-D, okay? She has had bad headaches all her life. Perfect. And the last one, the last one will be for... Um, let's see, let's see, Caesar, Caesar. I have been here before. Okay, I had been here before, okay, before, Caesar, before, okay, the intonation is before, okay, before. so I had been here before, okay, yo ya he estado aquí, right, so remember the past participle is for something that Probably was in the past, but it's still, okay? Usted está en un lugar y usted dice, yo ya había venido aquí. Dice usted, usted dice, yo recuerdo que yo ya había estado. So that is the past participle, okay? For those expressions that you use in, in Spanish, so you can use it in English, okay? So um, nice, let's continue. We have something else right here because we need to know how to identify Present perfect with past, simple past, okay? Simple past is, allá lo vieron ustedes como en el, a los inicios que le dijeron el pasado simple, right? So yo comí pupusas ayer, right? I ate pupusas yesterday, okay? Y en el pasado, en el presente perfecto sería yo he comido pupusas varias veces. I had been eaten pupusas too many times, okay? But we need to see the difference, okay? And we have something right here about uh, present perfect and simple past, okay? But let's see the adjective that we have right here. Uh, let's see who. Um, Karina, please help us. Karina, help us with the reading right here. In this session, a conversation will be listened to in order to practice the present perfect and simple past. Perfect. So we will see a conversation right now. 
And we need to see the combination about present perfect and the uh, simple past, ok? So, it's not the same, ok? A veces uno se confunde entre si es pasado simple o present perfect, ok? Because remember, present perfect is also in the past, but it's still in the present. And simple past is just something that you did. And that's, it's over, okay? Yo comí ayer, and no está comiendo ahorita, right? So that is the simple past, so just in the past. But the present perfect, it's different, okay? Because this is still in the in the process or in the, in the present, okay? So uh, let's see right here. Uh, we have right here the conversation, okay? Actually, I have, okay? So let's listen and let's see if we can make it bigger right here for you to see the letters. Okay, so let's see. Hi everyone, a conversation will be listened to in order to practice present perfect and simple past at the same time. Notice how they use both tenses during this conversation. Listen and repeat. Listen and practice. I'm sorry I'm late. Have you been here long? No, only for a few minutes. Have you chosen a restaurant yet? I can't decide. Have you ever eaten Moroccan food? No, I haven't. Is it good? It's delicious. I've had it several times. Or how about Thai food? Have you ever had green curry? Actually, I have. I lived in Thailand as a teenager. I ate it a lot there. I didn't know that. How long did you live there? I lived there for two years. Okay, perfect. Let me put it one more time right here. And that way we will be able to practice. Know that? How long? So, let's see if we are able to identify. Let's see, let's see who. Um, my goodness, Cesar, what happened with you? I don't see you in the camera. So Yolanda, Yolanda, let's see Yolanda. In the first sentence that we have right here from Peter. So it says, I'm sorry, I'm late. Have you ever been here long? So this is simple present or present perfect. Simple past or, or present perfect. The expression right here. Have you been here long? Mm -hmm. The question? Present perfect. Present perfect. Nice. Okay. No, only for a few minutes. Okay. Have you chosen a restaurant yet? So, Caesar, this one is simple past or it's present perfect? This question that we have right here from Peter. Present perfect. Perfect, it is present perfect, okay? And then she says, I can decide, have you ever eaten Mauritian food? So this one is also present perfect. No, I haven't, it is good. So remember that if they ask the question with present perfect, so the answer needs to be exactly the same, right? So with the present perfect, it's delicious. I have had it several times, okay? So present perfect. Oh, how about Thai food? Have you ever had green curry? So this is present perfect. Actually, I have. I live in Thailand as a teenager. I ate, I ate it a lot there, okay? I ate it a lot there. So this expression, that will be, Simple pass, okay, simple pass. I didn't know that, so simple pass. How long did you live there? Simple pass, I lived there for two years, okay? That means que, it's she living in Thailand right now? Yes or no? No. No. No, right, so that is simple pass, right? So that means that that happened two years probably uh, later, it's not there right now, okay? So that is the difference, right? So uh, let's see, let's practice just one time the conversation that we have right here. I don't know why it's not, a, I'm not able to make it bigger. I don't know if you can see the letters. 
Vamos a poner a alguien que tenga buena vista para que lo pueda ver. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Vanessa, ok. You would be Mandy, Vane. Um, let's see. Um, Elvis, Elvis, you will be Peter, okay? So be ready, please. Elvis, go ahead. Okay, uh, Peter, I'm sorry, I am late. I have been here long. No, only for a few minutes. Have we chose a restaurant yet? I can decide. Have you ever eaten Moroccan food? No, I haven't. It's, in, it's in good. It's delicious. I have I have had it several times. Or how long Thai food? How about you? How do you ever have a green aery? Actually, I have. I live in Thailand. Thailand as a teenager. I eat a lot there. I didn't know that. How long did you live there? I lived there for two years. Okay, perfect. Thank you. So be careful with the pronunciation for the present perfect, right? Have you been here long? Have you been here long? So that is the pronunciation. Have you chosen? Have you chosen a restaurant yet? And this one, have you ever eaten Moroccan food? Okay, have you ever eaten? Be careful with the pronunciation. The thing is that probably we don't really use these birds, right, in past participle. That's why we need to learn them. And we need to know the pronunciation because it's a little bit different, right? It's not the way it is in present. So the pronunciation change, okay? And okay. what else right here? I ate, and this one is simple past, okay? I ate, eat, ate, eaten. So así se los están aprendiendo ustedes, right? Eat, ate, eaten. Okay, so in this one is yeah. simple past. I ate it a lot there. So questions about this? I guess that we are clear so far. Okay, let's see what else we have right here. Look at this information that I have right here for you. So this is a comparison between the present perfect and the simple past. Difference between present perfect and simple past. Okay, look, it says right here that the present perfect tense, let's see uh, who, let's see who. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. So Yolanda, help us please reading this. Oops, sorry. Reading the first uh, column that we have right here. Uh, present perfect tense. It is used to express unfinished uh, events that started in the past and continue to the present. Perfect. I mm -hmm. okay. Go ahead. Go ahead. I have lived in Paris for five years. Uh, I still live in Paris. Okay, perfect. So you see, this is the common expression or the common definition for the Present perfect, okay? It is used to express unfinished events that start in the past but continue into the present, okay? So I have lived in Paris for five years, okay? That means that that person is still living there, right? So that's why she is using the present perfect. Si yo quiero decir yo viví, so that would be I live in Paris for five years, so ya no vive ahí, it was in the past, but in this case, still she's there, okay? Now, uh, the next one, let's see, Chrissia, this one, the next one, right here. Okay. It is used to express finished events in someone's life. If the person is still alive, 
live life experience. He has never traveled by plane. He is okay. alive. Perfect. Okay. So in this case, it's an expression for uh, Finnish events, events, events. Okay. That's the word events in someone's life. If the person is still alive, like life experience. So he has never traveled by plane. Okay. But he is still alive. That means that he can go ahead and do it at now. Okay. Even though he haven't had the experience, but he can do it. Okay. Because ahora si ya murió, entonces ahí sería pasado, right? He never traveled by plane. Okay. Ya no hay posibilidad, right? But in this case, um, it is a present perfect expression. Okay. So the next one, let's see. Uh, Noemi, go ahead, please. It is used to express Finnish events that happened in the past and the impact of the event is now continuing. We can't reach Paul by phone. Have you seen him? Okay, okay, perfect. It says right here, right? It is used to express finished events that happened in the past and the impact of the event is now continue. Okay, we can reach Paul by phone. Have you ever seen him? So they are searching or they are looking for Paul. Okay. So that is an event that I already passed. Probably I already called him, but it's still I need to talk with this person. So I'm still searching or looking for that person. So that's why I use the present perfect tense. Okay. Uh, let's see the next one. Let's see. Um, uh, Rafael, go ahead, please help us with the reading right here. Word teacher? Uh, right here, this one. It is used to, to with unfinished time wars. This week, today, this year, etc. etc. And the example? I have eaten lots of plums today. Today is not over yet. Thank you, Rafa. Perfect. So in this case, it is used for unfinished time works. Okay. So we say that in Spanish, right? So yo, eh, I ha, he comido un montón de, I don't know, fruta este día, but still we are in the same day. Today is not over. Okay. That means que todavía puede seguir comiendo, right? So it's not in the past, okay? So look at the example. I have eaten a lot of plums today, okay? That means that you have eaten a lot, but it's still, you can continue because the day is not over, okay? Esto es, sirve también cuando el, el año estamos, como ahorita, el año no ha terminado. So yo puedo decir, I have been uh, working from the same company for, this the last month okay pero sigo ahí still this year okay so i will continue on the same job as an example so that's the correct way to use the present tense let's see what the simple past okay let's analyze the situation between the simple past in this case okay uh let's see uh caesar the this one right here please it is used to express finishing events. My son was sick on Monday. My son okay. isn't sick now. Perfect. Okay. It is used to express finished events. No me digan events. Okay. Events. Events. Event. Okay. Events. My son was sick on Monday. My son isn't sick now. So that is something that is over, okay? Ya pasó, ya estaba enfermo, pero ya no está, right? So that is simple pass. Uh, the next one, the next one will be for uh, Luis, Luis Salon. So please, this one. Um, it is used to express finished events in someone's life. If the person is dead, he traveled a lot 
a lot by playing? Perfect. So and this dead. is perfect. He's dead. Okay. He passed away. So right here, look, and this one, it says that the person is still alive. But in this one, so ya la persona ya no, ya no existe. Okay. So it's an event in someone's life, but the person is dead. Okay. So the person is not able to do it anymore because he's not alive. Okay. He traveled a lot by plane, but he's not traveling anymore because he doesn't exist, right, anymore. Uh, let's see, Alexander, please, this one, the next one. Um, I'm looking for the next one. Uh, he tra um, it, is, it is, it is used mm -hmm. to ex express, okay, it is used to express Finnish events. There is no result in the present. He went to the, uh, what can cinema? I say? Cinema. cinema. Oh, okay. He went to cinema two hours ago. Now he's at school. Perfect. So simple present, right? For finished events, okay? That it doesn't have any result right now. He went to the cinema two hours ago, but it's not there anymore. So that is simple past. And Rosario, I don't know if you have audio right now. Rosario Melendez, help us with the last one, please. Rosario, I guess you have issues with your audio. I don't know what happened with your audio. Okay, so Florence, help us please with the last one right here. Okay, teacher. It is used with a finish time words like yesterday, last week, in 2000, etc. We didn't call him yesterday. Perfect. So that means that the day is over, the week is over, the year is over, the month is over. So we didn't call him yesterday. Okay, the time is over. So that is a simple, uh, simple present, okay? I'm sorry, simple past, okay? Simple past. Nice. So, um, my goodness, time is over, okay? We have this last uh, example right here about uh, simple past and present perfect, okay? So the simple past will be very specific times in the past. So present perfect. So we don't know the exactly time because as I told you, it started in the past, but it still it is affecting in the present, right? So that's why it says that baggy times in past, okay? It's like not clear enough. Look at the example yesterday, five minutes ago in 2000, the other day, last month. So those are expressions that are already, my goodness, that are already over. And for the present perfect, we have ever, never, not yet, already, so far, today, still now, out to the present, okay? So those are expressions that we can use to uh, create sentences or expressions with present perfect. Look at the example. I went to the park yesterday. I, I studied in China in 2010. So the, those activities are over. Just se acabó eso, right? And in the present perfect, I have... Uh, never gone to the park, pero estoy vivo todavía. Nunca he ido, pero puedo ir, right? I have never gone to the park. I haven't been to China yet. No he estado en China aún o todavía, okay? That means that probably in the future I can go ahead and go, okay? But for right now, I haven't. I haven't. So I guess that with this, you can create your sentences, okay? So we are going to stop for right now because time is over, but please, um, tomorrow we don't have class, okay? So don't forget, tomorrow we don't have class. No vaya a venir aquí porque yo no voy a estar aquí. Vamos a andar en la marcha, dijo Yolanda, okay? So uh, tomorrow we don't have class, okay? For the ones that will be resting, Please work in the platform, okay? Si usted ya terminó ya la anda la plataforma, puede ir a la marcha, pero si no ha terminado, no puede. <laughs> you have to do it, okay? But los que van a trabajar como yo, que vamos a trabajar, 
So anyway, Rafael, we have to do it no matter what, okay? So igual Alex, creo que va, no, Alex dijo que iba a descansar, va a trabajar mañana, lucky one, okay? So enjoy your day off and I hope to see you on Thursday, okay? We have class on Thursday, on Thursday we finish the unit number five and we are going to have the last, last, last day of class next Monday. Next Monday, what we are going to do is basically review the final exam, y ahí nos despedimos, right? So that's the day, the, the last date, okay? So thank you for your attendance, okay? Thank you for your cameras, okay? And I hope to see you next Thursday, okay? Descansen mañana si tienen el chancecito de no trabajar. If you have to work, so do it with a nice attitude. And I hope to see you on Thursday, okay? Thank you for your time. Thank you, teacher. Nice. Thank you. Good Thank night. You. Thank you. Nice. And still, if you have, if, if you night, need teacher. help with the platform, ahí me pueden escribir si alguien teacher, tiene problema, I... problema. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> Tomorrow. <laughs> okay. Nice. Good night. Good night.